My area of research is interaction design. And, um, you know, I, I actually, I, I, one of my undergraduate classes, which actually it's a third year class, and it's called Interaction Design uh, Process and Methods. And I ask all my students, how many, how many of you are interaction designers? And three quarters put their hands up. And then I ask, so who can tell me what interaction design is? And nobody puts their hand up. <laughs> so everyone knows the kind of this, what, you know, what is interaction design? And, um, uh, and I think that that's kind of uh, sort of, uh, it's not an easy one to answer, but it's at the same time because it's difficult and it's something that you kind of strive for. It's what keeps you going. I think there's nothing more powerful in learning than uh, literally, I mean, the impulse around learning is trying to understand the world you're in. And for students to try to understand skills, kind of competencies, how to make sense of the world, but more importantly, not just how to make sense of the world, but, but how to figure out how to contribute back to the world that you are in and inhabit right now. FCAT is the place. <laughs> you know, that's where I think, it's, it, on some level you can talk about his skills in terms of video editing. On some level you can talk about understanding how social policy uh, uh, affects ideas about communication and media. Uh, to, to understanding what does it actually mean to, to create meaningful cultural expression now. All of these things sort of transpire within FCAT at the various schools within FCAT, but this is where you can start to think about, reflect, and learn the tools and the skills to try to make sense of the world, and then ultimately what really you look after is, is how you contribute back to the world.